It says, others save with fear. Do you remember that? If you don't remember that, maybe you can go to the archive and look that up because that's a powerful verse. Others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire. The word save is the Greek word sozo. And this word sozo means to rescue, to deliver, carries a great sense of urgency that is backed up with the word fear. Others save with fear. And the word fear is the word phobos. The word phobos normally is translated just as the word fear, but it really carries the idea of alarm, something that is very alarming. And the example that I gave on January the 8th, and I'm going to use again now, is if you saw a child run in front of a car or run into a busy street, you wouldn't just stand on the side and say, hmm, gee, I wonder if that child would be hit by that car. You would be so alarmed, every part of you would move to action. You would be alarmed. You'd have fear. You'd have a sense of urgency. And in this verse, James is talking about believers that are caught in sin or drifting back into a lifestyle of sin. Rather than say, oh gee, I wonder if they're going to fall into sin. Hmm. Wonder what will happen to them. Well, it's really not my personal business. You know, everybody makes their own choice. Hey, 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 hey. Those believers are about to be hit by a car. They're making a wrong decision. This is a critical moment in their life. It's not a time for you to passively sit by and say, well, it's not my personal business. It is your business. They're your brothers. They're your sisters. If you can't do anything else, you can pray. You need to have a sense of urgency to save them, deliver them, rescue them, moved with alarm because of the wrong direction that they're heading in. And then James continues, and this is what the gym is about today. He says, pulling them out of the fire. This word fire does not describe hell, but it describes fires of destruction. They're headed toward destruction. What they're about to do is going to destroy their lives. You're to pull them out. That word pulling them out is the Greek word harpazo. I like this word. The word harpazo means to snatch them out of the fires of destruction, to grab them by the back of the neck and to jerk them out just in the nick of time. It's exactly what Jesus did for you and me. In Colossians 1.13, the Bible says, He delivered us from the power of darkness. That word delivered is the same word, the word harpazo, which now in Jude 1.23 is translated pulling them out. It means when Jesus gave His life for you and for me, He gave His blood that He might grab us by the back of the neck, jerk us out of hell just in the nick of time. Jesus came to our rescue and literally snatched us out of the grip of darkness. You might say, well, I, you know, I just don't know. God won't violate a person's will. Really? Is that right? Give me a scripture for that. When you find the example of Lot, who was in Sodom and Gomorrah, Genesis chapter 19, 6 tells us that Lot was hanging around in Sodom and Gomorrah. In fact, the Bible says in the King James Version, he was lingering, lingering. He had been told destruction was coming and did not want to leave. And the Bible says the angels took him by the hand and dragged him out of the city against his will. A picture of him saying, I don't want to go, I don't want to go, I don't want to go, I don't want to go. But the angels grabbed him and pulled him out. Now, why did they pull him out? if he didn't want to go. You know why? Because his uncle Abraham prayed for him and God heard his prayers. It was because of Abraham, Abraham's prayers. That's the reason Lot was delivered. And if Abraham hadn't prayed, Lot would have been consumed in the fires that destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Abraham's prayers literally snatched him out of fire. And by praying for those people you're concerned about, you can reach into the very fires of destruction, grab hold of them, and with your prayers, you can jerk them out just in the nick of time. That's the power you have. So rather than just fold your arms and say, just don't know what to do, act like Abraham, get on your knees and begin to intercede angels will be dispatched to rescue them and pull them out of fire.